patients come to me via their GP, which is the most common um, pathway. Usually the appointment slots are within a week or two, so they're seen quite quickly. When patients come to see me in the clinic, I will then go out to the reception area and receive them and bring them into the consultation room. I will read the GP's letter and find out a bit more of the history from the patient. From the history, I'm looking specifically for uh, the nature of their pain. And these are patients who have come with suspected knee arthritis. So I'm looking for where is the pain? Is it at the front of the knee? Is it to the one side or the other? Uh, the reason for this is that arthritis can affect part or all of the knee. I also want to know whether the pain is present at rest and whether it affects his sleep at night. That gives an indication of the severity of the symptoms. Uh, examine the knee to, to assess which part of the knee is involved, the range of knee movement, and whether the joint is stable. After I've completed the examination, we're going to go for investigations. And the most common investigation that we use is, a, is an x-ray. There are three compartments of the knee, and the x-ray will show whether one, two, or three parts are involved in the arthritic process. One can therefore then decide to proceed to replacing one or all of the compartments of the knee. The x-ray is, is it's a digital image, and it is then um, on the computer system, which I can access from my consultation room. And what we would see normally is a space between the femur and the tibia, and that is really where the cartilage is. You can't see cartilage on the x-ray, so you would see a space. And the space should be equal on both the medial and the lateral aspect of the knee. And in this particular uh, view, you can see one knee where there's severe arthritis, there's complete loss of joint space. And when you look at the similar knee from the side view, you can see a lot of excess bone being formed. And this is quite common in arthritis, and that will lead to the restriction of the knee movement. Sometimes we may need other investigations, such as a CT scan. If there's significant bone loss, uh, the CT may give a bit more information because additional uh, prostheses may be required at the time of surgery. So if they've had, um, they have severe symptoms and they have the x-ray findings, I would then recommend a knee replacement.